Welcome back to the Headliner Podcast. Today, we'll discuss how you can save time by easily automating your podcast promotion using some recent updates we've made to something we call Headliner AI. My name is Maximilian Piros. I'm the product designer here at Headliner, and I can't wait to teach you some new ways to improve your podcast promotion. So let's get started. If you're listening to this, I assume you're very familiar with what we do, but just in case you're not, at Headliner, we're dedicated to helping podcasters grow their show through the power of social video. We make it easy to share your podcast across the web by automatically turning your episodes into shareable video clips, which you can post on social media as episode trailers. We also automatically turn your entire episodes into full-length videos to post on YouTube, which is now one of the largest podcast consumption platforms. All you need to do is sign up for a free account and we'll start automating your podcast marketing in no time. Just visit headliner.app to get started. One of the things we're very proud of at Headliner is how often we listen to user feedback. Learning what you love and hate about our app is key to helping us improve it. We also try really hard to understand all the context around our app because we know every podcaster's workflow requires complex coordination between a medley of products. So we often ask podcasters about their entire workflow beyond Headliner itself. A piece of feedback that seems to always come up is that every podcaster is strapped for time. Does that sound relatable? Because I bet it does. And that's totally understandable because the nature of podcasting requires us all to juggle multiple jobs. So we've thought a lot about this at Headliner, and it led us to setting a new goal of, believe it or not, helping you spend less time using our app. Now, I know it's probably pretty odd to hear that we want you to spend less time in our app, but we know that the faster you can promote your podcast, the more time you're going to have to create it. And that's the really important part. So we're working on delivering more value to you in less time. Let me explain how we're trying to achieve this goal. In essence, we've been slowly redesigning Headliner to be less like a manual tool and more like your clever marketing assistant. This is all thanks to Headliner AI, which is an algorithm we use to analyze each podcast episode and figure out which segments are going to make the most compelling previews. We can then pair these segments with whichever video template you choose. This means every time a new podcast episode is released, we'll automatically create short promotional videos for you to post on social media, and we'll automatically post a full-length video of the entire episode onto YouTube and all of this is done without you having to lift a finger. We recently made three really big updates to make this happen. The first update is that we've made our automatic clip selections much smarter. We think this is a really important area to focus on because we've learned finding shareable segments from an episode is one of the biggest time sinks. While some podcasters might know exactly what part of an episode they want to share, others look at a long audio file and have no idea where to begin. And even for those who know exactly what they want to share, promoting is about consistency, so trying to find a second, third, and fourth clip from that episode can really start to feel like a grind. That's why we're investing so much time and effort into automatically finding clips for you. Our current method of doing this is by training our algorithm to figure out the most representative parts of an episode while filtering out any ads and filler words. We trained our algorithm on thousands of hours of podcasts and cross-referenced it with audience engagement data from social media. This allows us to analyze each episode for segments that are most likely to compel people to keep listening. Sounds cool in theory, right? But does it work? Well, the good news is that you don't need to take my word for it because it's live in our app right now. So go give it a try for yourself. In fact, I've gathered some example clips that Headliner AI just selected for me from previous episodes of this podcast. Let's give them a listen. The third and final way to optimize your podcast feed that we'll be covering today is remembering to make sure that you've set it up to include mentions of your social media pages on it. You can often do this from the settings of your account on your podcast host, and having up-to-date links to your social pages is a great way to help steer listeners towards interacting with you directly. It's also a very low-effort move that can come in handy when it comes to making sure that accurate information is displayed across podcatchers that have your show on it. And by adding a transcript to your video, you're making it more accessible, not just to people who are hard of hearing and can't hear it, but to people who are in a situation where they won't be able to listen. Here's the number one thing I wished I had known when I started podcasting, that every podcaster feels a little nervous and scared and maybe sometimes insecure. Just do it and you'll have so much fun. Those clips were selected by Headliner AI without any work needed from my end, which is amazing because now I can reallocate that time into creating new content. And our suggestions will keep getting better over time. But of course, they're not always perfect, at least not yet. So that's where you come in. Our second update is that we've made it insanely easy to adjust any of our suggestions. 
For any clip that is close but no cigar, we've added an adjust button that opens up our audio clipper, allowing you to make any necessary tweaks. Whenever you do this, you're also giving Headliner feedback on how we can improve our clips in the future. This will help train Headliner AI to select better start and end points for each clip. And that brings us to our last big update, which is that we've added a dislike button. This button lets you provide granular feedback on each clip so we can learn exactly what was wrong with it. For instance, you can let us know that it cut off mid-sentence, or perhaps it just wasn't an interesting part of the episode. Every time you do this, Headliner AI learns to select less clips like this in the future. So all these changes let us learn your preferences over time, and eventually we'll be able to personalize your clip suggestions and find exactly what you're looking for. It's just like onboarding a new marketing assistant. At first we need some direction, but eventually you can sit back while we do all the busy work. So that's our update on Headliner AI and how it can save you time promoting your podcast. Swing over to headliner.app to give it a try. I recommend doing so as soon as possible because the more you interact with Headliner AI, the better its suggestions become. I hope you enjoy these updates and thanks for listening to the Headliner podcast. If you ever have any questions, comments, feedback, or just need help setting up an automation, you can always reach out to us at support at headliner.app.